here and fight anyhow. Ooh, we are soldiers. We're in the army. We have to fight, although we have to cry. We have to hold up the bloodstained banner. We have to hold it up and never die. My mother, she was a soldier. She had her hands on the gospel fire. But one day she got old. She could not fight anymore. She said, I'll stand here and fight anyhow. Oh, we are soldiers. We're in the army. We have to fight, although we have to cry. We have to hold up the bloodstained banner. We have to hold it up and never die. Amen. We probably deserve to say our Lord's Prayer as Minister Pulpit leads to the door. Say Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. As for a congregation of song. Victory is mine.
says the Lord. This part of the service will say that it is for prayer. All right, Mr. Pulpit, get us to the door. Hallelujah, tis done. I believe on the sun, Lord, I am saved by. Isaac and Israel. Let the words of our mouth and the message of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. Holy Father, we know that thou hast made us and love us and want us to be obedient to thy word. And we do thank thee for thy enduring love towards us. Help us to be peaceful in mind and heart and lead us to thy truth and light which fulfill our lives each day according to thy will. Father, we do acknowledge thee, and know if we shall keep thy commandments, thou wilt direct our pathways in righteousness. Help us to be grateful for thy love and guidance, which is without cost, yet rich with love, joy, and peace, which cannot be bought or sold or taken away. And to these Jews of joy, Holy Father, please add a little prosperity for which we have need of. Help us to reach a oneness with thee, so we can truly know our strength to live and not be sick, but shall walk in perfect health with thee. And now, dear Father, charge us with our power of love, so we may be able to live eternally, and help us be worthy of these and all other blessings that I see we have need of. We ask these blessings in the name of the Lord God of Israel. Amen, amen, amen. Alleluia. for a congregational song.
That my only, I'm the God of Israel, that's the open ceremony is being conducted. Genesis, the 35th chapter, 9th through 11 verses. And God appeared to Jacob again, we came out per Damaram and blessed him. And God sent to him, That name is Jacob, and I shall not call any more Jacob, but Israel should be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God sent to him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. And nation cover, and they shall be of thee, and kings shall come with our loins. Members, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israels of God. Exodus, the fourth chapter, 22nd and 23rd verses. And thou dost send to Pharaoh, there says the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I send to thee, let my son go, that he may serve me. If thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will say thy son, even thy firstborn. Members, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israels of God. Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, first through the seventh verse. But now that said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I redeemed thee. I call thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou pass through the waters, I'll be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shall not be burned. Neither shall a flame kindle upon thee. For I'm the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I got Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopian Seba for thee. So thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, I will give men for thee and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Be yeah. my son from far and my daughter from the ends of the earth. If everyone that's called by my name, for I created for my glory, I formed him, yeah, I've made him. Members, Lord God of Israel, 
Help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israels of God. Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, 20 through 28 verses. And the six were that rise should be in the hand before their eyes, and said to them, Thus is the Lord God. Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, where they will be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them to their own land. I will make them one nation and land upon the mountains of Israel. Members, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israels of God. One king should be king to them all. It should be no more two nations. It shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. It shall they defile themselves any more their idols, nor their detestable things, nor any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places, where they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So they should be my people, and I will be their God. Members, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israels of God. And David, my servant, shall be king over them. It shall have one shepherd. It shall also walk in my judgments, and serve my statutes, and do them. It shall dwell in the land that I have given to Jacob, my servant, where your, your fathers have dwelt, and they should dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Members, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israels of God. Moreover, I made covenant and peace with them. It should be everlasting covenant with them. I will place them and multiply them, and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle should be with them. Yeah, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And the heathen should know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel. My sanctuary should be in the midst of them forevermore. And verse, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israels of God. As they had the 45th chapter, 16 and 17 verses. Acts the 13th chapter, 22nd, 23rd verses. Romans the 11th chapter, 26th verse. Galatians the 6th chapter, 15 and 16th verse. They should be ashamed of us confounded, all of them. They should go to the confusion together and make us vitals. Israel should be saved and Lord with everlasting salvation. It shouldn't be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. In verse, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israels of God. And we have removed him, he raised David to be their king, to whom he also gave testimony and said, I found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, which will fulfill all my will. Of this man see how God accords his promise, rest to Israel, Savior, Jesus. In verse, Lord God of Israel, Help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israels of God. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written. It shall come out of Zion the deliverer. It shall turn away on guidance from Jacob. Members, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israels of God. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision avail of anything, nor uncircumcision, but new creature. We may work according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy upon the Israel of God. Members, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's God. Let's keep our mind on the king of all Israel, and repeat after me as we go through the prayer. Lord God of Israel, there is no God like unto thee, and thy name is great, and shall, and must be honored for all the true Israel's of God. Help us to so die from this world, and ourselves, that thy kingdom can freely come to us. Help us to so be dead to the world and ourselves, that we might be freely willing for thy will to be done, both in our bodies and spirit. Help us to so love thee, that will only be thy will to deliver us from all that thou hatest. And lead us only into that thou lovest. Give us and teach us thy willing way each day as we're able to receive it. All the kingdoms of thine, and if we love thee, thou will freely give and bless us with and in them all powers in thy hand. And if we love thee, thou will freely give thy power to us. Help us to so love thee that we can be the true Israels of God. For thy is place, salvation is thine, for Israel thy glory. These and other blessings we ask in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Amen.
Yes, another congregational song.
subject of the 22nd verse. I'm sorry. Got ahead of myself. As I read, open me to the gates of righteousness. I'll go into them and I'll praise the Lord. The gates of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter. I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. This is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee. Send now prosperity. Our subject found in the 22nd verse. The stone which the builders refused has become the head of the stone. The stone which the builders refused has become the head stone of the corner. Now the God of Israel has a hearing, blessing, doing through his great good word. <laughs> this part of the service, bless him in the choir. Excuse me. Bless him in the congregation. In over Zoom to bring your child to church. They need as well as physical education as well as a spiritual education. Add on to that not to do drugs. Next part of the service, 
So that's our instructor month. Oh, Rob with the Val card as well. I rise and give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to say good morning, Israel. Good morning. Good morning. To be your instructional mother. Let's say my name is Brian Mother Val Carswell, and I'm from the Indianapolis Temple, where my co-pastors are Bishop Flanders Carswell Jr. and Elder Thomas James. And uh, to be your instructional mother, just to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, welcome, Israel. I don't see any visitors, but if we have any visitors out on Zoom, you're truly welcome to the Spiritual Israel Church and its Army. And for those of you who this is your first time visiting the Louisville, Kentucky Temple, Welcome, Israel. Welcome. Come and rejoice and praise the God of Israel. And to be the instructional mother, just to say, you know, Israel, um, our king has just been preaching so much for us to be happy, happy, happy. And I will say to you, part of being happy and allowing yourself to be happy, try to practice on having peace and patience. The God of Israel gave me that. And truly, when I find myself being frustrated or being disappointed or seeing something that I don't have any understanding about, yeah, yeah. I just try to remember peace and patience, mm -hmm. peace and patience. It will allow you to hear the word of the God of Israel. It allow your heart to be free, not your blood pressure to be raised. Just have some peace and patience mm -hmm. with yourself and with others and with the circumstances that you go through, knowing that the God of Israel, with, with the God of Israel, nothing is impossible. So everything is really okay. Just have some peace and patience and watch the God of Israel work. And and at this time, before we bow our head on a word of prayer, I just always encourage you when you're praying for yourself, please hold to your mind to pray for someone else, whether it's your friend, your neighbor, your coworker, somebody that you know that's just in trouble or you just see the needs to have prayer. Put somebody else in your mind and in your spirit other than just yourself and bow your head in a word of prayer by saying, Our Father, Our Father which art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Be thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen service back in the hands of our own deacon amen. that concludes the service this part of the service, mission service. Turn right back in the hands of Bride Mother Val Carswell. <laughs> Thank the God of Israel for being in another service. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to run a devotion. Uh, Mission program, mission program. Okay, all right. At this time, we're going to ask um, for a congregational song, and I'll see what the God of Israel tells me what to do next. Amen. 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 Sing it. together one more time one more time one more time he allowed us to pray together one more time one more time oh one more time he allowed us to pray together one more time, one more time, one more time. He allowed us to pray together one more time, one more time. Oh. One more time, he allowed us to pray together. One more time, one more time, one more time, 
He allowed us to come together one more time, one more time, oh, one more time. He allowed us to come together one more time. just one more time, one more and I'm thankful to the God of Israel for that. At this time, we're going to ask our own sister Myrna to come up in her own way, whether she want to sing a song, speak on a lesson. Now the time is hers. Amen. I rise and give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. We're going to thank her. She is just full, and I understand how that is. Sometimes you just can't even say nothing because it's just like fire. Shot up in your bones. The words just won't come, but the tears will just let you know how you're praising the God of Israel. It's all right, my sister. We love you. You made it here, and we're just glad to see you. Thank the God of Israel for that. At this time, we're going to go on, and we're going to ask our own sister Erlene to come up in her own way and give us a, a selection, speak on the lesson, whatever her heart's desire to bring to us. Amen. Amen. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, thanking the God of Israel for life, for health, and for strength, and for being right Amen. here. Thanking the God of Israel that uh, usually, I'm a Zoom participant, but I'm thanking the God of Israel. I'm here today, right here, uh, in the service of the great and mighty God of Israel. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, okay, my favorite song. Amen. Amen. Without God, yeah, I can do nothing oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. without God. Yeah. Surely I'd fail yeah, right. See, without God. My life would be drifting, yeah. oh Lord, just like a ship uh -huh. without yes, yes. a sail. Yes. I came to Israel just as I was, yes, yes, yes. I was weary, wounded, yes, and I was sad, but I found, I found in the God of Israel a resting place, <laughs> and he he has made me glad yes, without, God, without God, without the God of Israel, I would be nothing yes, without the God of Israel, surely. I'd fail without the God of Israel. My life would be drifting just like an old ship yeah, yeah. without a sail. Amen. 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 Amen.
to the Holy Father, Amen. the King of all Israel, oh, it really touched our hearts because we know that all things are made possible because we serve a true and a living God. No matter what you go through, the God of Israel is so real. He's so awesome and so amazing. Oh, oh Lord God of Israel, I just thank you. Uh, we're going to continue on with this mission service because we're on a mission. Yes. to serve the king oh lord god of israel within us thank you holy father at this time we're going to call up our own deacon Javon. come on up and your own way and open up this lesson for us amen truly i rise and give honor to the holy father the king of all israel yeah. i'm thankful to be here in louisville kentucky right now yeah. Yeah. I ain't been here since Wiley Tenches when I was a little tight. Yeah. They first started coming down here. Yeah. Whew. The stone of Israel. Yes. Yeah. That precious stone that lives within each and every yeah. single one of us. Yes. Yeah. Sunday school, she said it was that, that righteous stone that you can tap into, yeah. which is the physical representation yeah. of Bishop Bobby Joe Davis. Yeah. Walking and talking in the body, because this is not no sky God. No. Yeah. This God is body bound and meant to be a blessing to his people, yeah. which is the Israel nationality is the Ethiopian yes. Israelites. Yeah. I'm grateful to know who and what I am yeah. on an everyday basis. Yeah. 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 Cause at the beginning, when we taught this doctrine, you must say, I rise yeah. to give honor yeah. to the Holy Father the king of all Israel. As the king said, that's your mission and that's your purpose yeah. of being an Ethiopian Israelite. Yeah. And again, I'm, I'm thankful for the, I'm thankful. Let me get into this lesson. Let me get into this lesson. Subject is, the mainly base of the subject is what? Go one scripture up, then go down. 21st and 22nd. Okay. I will praise you. Yeah, yo, you good, you good, you got it. I will praise thee. I'm giving up something, right? When you praise me, you're giving up something. Yeah. You laying down your life. Yeah. And you walking and talking this thing because this thing is not for no outside show. Yeah. Yeah. Because we come, we coming together to yeah. praise the Lord God of Israel. But when we out and about, I want to talk about the Lord God of Israel. Yeah. I want to, I want you, I want you to be able to see it in my strut in my walk. Yeah. Read. Thou has hurt me. Thou has what? He has heard my cry. Yeah. And art has found my salvation. You know what? After you heard my cry, the Lord God of Israel, you didn't have to prove something, but you did. Yeah. You said, I am your salvation. Yeah. What else? The stone which the builders refused. First of all, you gotta you gotta take that in context. You, which you, you are the, you are building on an everyday basis. Mm -hmm. So I was the one that refused the Lord God of Israel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Lord God of Israel, have mercy on me. I couldn't stop it. I couldn't stop it. I thought I had it all made. I thought I knew something. Uh -huh. I couldn't stop it. Uh -huh. Read on. This is the Lord's doing. This, this is who? The Lord's doing. That's in all capital. So that means that's talking about the spirit, not the physical representation. Uh -huh. That's talking about the spirit of it. Uh -huh. Read. It is marvelous in our eyes. It's marvelous in our eyes. And I hope you gain a thought. Amen. to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Our voice know Deacon Jawan got something for you. And if you heard the word, because this is, I, I believe, this is how you refuse the stone, by not hearing the word. Right. So guess what? If you heard the word, now it's become the headstone, the head chief cornerstone in your life, because that's who you rise to, and that's who you give praises to. Yeah. And we thank the God of Israel for having that wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Because you know what? When I came into Israel, they said, you know, get wisdom, <laughs> get knowledge. But of all your getting, get of understanding. Because guess what? You can have wisdom, but if you don't understand what you got, you ain't ain't got no wisdom. You can have knowledge, but if you don't know how to use it, you still don't know what you got. But if you have some understanding, all things are possible. And I thank the God of Israel for that. And at this time, we're going to do something different a little here. We're going to have our ministers, including Reverend Derek, to come on up and give us a selection. Thank you.
Come over here. Come over here. The table is spread. The table is spread. The feast of the Lord. Feast of the Lord. Is going on. It's going on. And we're going to drink from the fountain. in their own way because truly we want to shout trouble is over once we accept the God of Israel make him the chief cornerstone trouble is over really trouble is over and I thank the God of Israel for this at this time we're going to um, conclude our mission service we're going to ask everyone to stand and help me sing our mission song we're going to ask our own Reverend Francis to uh, lead us in that song uh, and oh when the saints Rise, give the honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel, truly. Oh, when the saints, oh, when the saints go marching in, marching in. Oh, when service over in the hands of our own Deacon Jawan. Amen. True, I rise and give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. This part of the service is on mission and the minister in charge. Amen. Amen. I rise and give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. 
Christ give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, thanking him for his grace and mercy, thanking yeah. him for the sunshine, yeah. thanking him for the breeze, the gentle breeze that's blowing. We're so glad to be here this morning and asking you to bring your minds in so that we all can be attached one to another. At this time, we're going to have our own elder, I mean, Reverend Dr. Francis Prince. Let's receive her well. <laughs> truly, truly, I rise giving up to the Holy Father, King of all Israel, to say this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. And I'm going to truly, truly, I'm going to truly, truly rejoice in it. Be glad in it. You say I'm not going to hold you long. So grateful and thankful that for the ones that come out this morning to be with us here in Kentucky. Yeah. Because this is your home. No matter where you go, Israel is home. Yeah. And yeah. I'm glad you've been able to say that. To yeah. say we're talking about the stone of Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but yeah. I'm so glad to say that I know yeah. who the stone of Israel is. I know who is teaching me. I know who is praying for me. Yeah. Who is leading me. Yeah. And that I want to lay down my life and I want to follow him. Because see, you got to have a made up mind. Yeah. That this is what you want. Don't go along yeah. dangling in the crowd, but know that this is what you want. Yeah. Hallelujah. Once again, yeah. I'm so grateful and thankful. Let me give you a few scriptures, just a few scriptures, because our bishop is in the midst of us. And I, I get so much from the ones that come. We're, yeah. we're greedy and thirsty for you. We're hungry and thirsty for you, Bishop. Yeah. <laughs> Just say St. John 738. Yeah. That's our foundation scripture that he gave us to build up on. Yeah. Now, what you put on your foundation is left up to you. Yeah. But our foundation way of doing it is not the same as the God of Israel. That's why he said we got to eat and drink his words. Yeah. We got to be all taught about the God of Israel. Yeah. Because there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, yeah. but the end thereof are the ways of death. And see, the God of Israel Preach. letting us know, now you done tried your way. Yeah. Try my way. Yeah. Remember, I made you. I know all about you. I know every mistake you was going to make before you made it. I know that when you was going to change your mind and surrender over to me, he knew this. Yeah. That's why he said, I stand at the door and I knock. And if you open up, I'll come in and I'll sup with you. I'll tell you what to do. Yeah. I'll tell you how to do it. Yeah. I'll even tell you which way to go. Yeah. All I want you to do is just yeah. trust me. Yeah. Trust me and follow me. Yeah. Have faith because sometimes faith is not faith is the substance of things not seen. We got to believe it. You don't see it, but you're trusting yeah. and you're believing. Yeah. Faith yeah. is the substance of things hoped for uh, yeah. and the evidence of things not seen. Yeah. You got to hope and pray. And keep your mind stayed on the God of Israel. I'm just going to speak a little bit on the uh, on our lesson because the lesson is wonderful. Yeah. And, and I take every lesson personal. I take it for me yeah. because everybody don't want it, but I want it. Yeah. I want it. I used to pray this prayer all the time for my family, that they would accept the Lord God of Israel, that they would lay down their life for him and want to serve him like yeah. I do, but everybody don't want it. So I learned to make sure that I'm doing it, yeah. that I'm eating and drinking his words, and that I can be a light unto the world because when I'm a light, I'm praising the God of Israel. I'm lifting him up, and therefore I know he's going to lift me up and take care of me. Yeah. Hallelujah. It says the St. John 7, 38, what it says. He that believeth on me. It says, me. he that believeth on me. As the scripture has said. And I'm going to prove it to you by the scripture because we got people even here today in Israel. Don't believe it if you don't come out the, out the Bible, but I got news for you. He written it in the prophets. Yeah. He did that so you would have no respect to persons. Yeah. Pick and choose who you want to hear from. Yeah. But the God of Israel words, it don't change. Yeah. See, it's the man that changed or the lady that changed, but his words remain the same. Amen. And I'm so grateful and thankful. He's the same God yesterday yeah. that he's doing his work today. Yeah. He doesn't change. And it says what? He that believeth on me. You got to believe him. As the scripture has said. And you got to believe what the scripture has said. That's nothing but his words. Mm -hmm. Out of his belly. And out of his belly. Talking about if you believe. It's, we're talking about the fruits of the spirit. Galatians 5, 22. This is what you can believe that can flow from you. Amen. Just as well as it flows from me. But you got to believe. Yeah. You got to believe in. And let's talk about them fruits a little bit. It's for those that don't know Galatians 5, 22. This is what's going to be in you. This is what he's telling that you can have. If you just allow him, allow his spirit, welcome the spirit in. Welcome it into you because once the God of Israel's spirit enter into you, you are no longer the 
the same. You don't talk the same. You don't walk the same. You don't even think the same. And sometimes places that you used to go, you don't even desire to go there anymore. But That's the, the difference. It said, but what? But the fruit of the Spirit is the love. The fruit of the Spirit. We're talking about, it said, God is the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And they that worship him, we must worship him in spirit and in truth. So this ain't flesh now. This is in the spirit of it. And it says that the, we, the fruits of the spirit is what? Is love. Hey, the God of Ruth ain't got nothing but love. Joy. Joy. Peace. Peace. Long-suffering. Ain't you glad that when we go through, some people think long-suffering is for a long time. But the God of Israel, he's worked through the quickness. Yeah. All you got to do is call on him and believe in him and trust him. You can do, he can do it in the twinkling of an eye. And yeah. it says what? Gentleness. Gentleness. Goodness. You ain't got to be so mean all the time and Amen. cruel to people. Amen. Show love so you can receive love. Amen. And I realize you can't give out what you don't have in. But as we as Israel, it's supposed to be in there. Yeah. We've yeah. been taught this. Yeah. And it says what? Goodness. Goodness. Faith. That when you do something, don't look for, uh, for no uh, money in return. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. Your life, your health, your yeah. strength. Yeah. That's a good enough for me because if you yeah. got money and you ain't got your life, your health, and your strength, what does it profit a man? Amen. What does it say? No. What does it profit you to gain the whole world yeah. and lose your soul? Yeah. Okay, it says what? Meekness. Meekness. Temperance. Oh, the God of the river sold meat to us. Temperance. You ain't got to get mad all the time. But that don't mean that you that you scared. Right. Uh -huh. It doesn't mean that you're a bully. Uh-huh. Uh, being bullied. But temperance. Speak with the God of Israel with a soft voice. Yeah. Soft tone. Yeah. Because it says that a, 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 a soft answer uh -huh. turneth away wrath. Yeah. So if you're being yeah. furious and being mean and, yeah. and talking to our sisters and brothers, we're stirring up wrath. There ain't no peace in wrath. Right. Man. And the God of Israel is not the author of confusion. And uh -huh. it says what? Faith. Faith. Against such. Oh, baby, on this journey, you got to have some faith. Yeah. Sometimes you got to go through some things. Yeah. You're going to be talked about, walked on, uh -huh. mistreated, abused, and all that. But hold on to faith because yeah. the God of Israel is going to bring you through. Yeah. And I love, hey, he said he'll make your enemy your footstool. And what I love about it, too, he said he'll even prepare a, ta a, pa prepare a table before you, before with your enemies there, so they can see how he has yeah. raised you yeah. up. You didn't raise yourself yeah. up, it was the God of Israel. Yeah. And it says what? And against such there is no law. There ain't no law. It ain't yeah. no law in doing yeah. the God of Israel's words, keeping yeah. his commandments, yeah. observing his statutes, and do it. It's nothing wrong with that. You'll gain peace and everything else with it because that's the law of the Lord God of Israel. Yeah. And what I listen say. Now, this is David talking. Mm -hmm. Now, those that know David went through a lot of stuff, but one thing about it, David never forgot to call on the God of Israel. He never acknowledged to the, never forgot to acknowledge to the God of Israel that he done wrong, and he know that he had to repent because yes. that's the only way yes. he knew he was going to make it, and that the God of Israel will intervene Preach. for us and take care of us. Preach. So I'm, I'm going to be David today. I'm going to bring it up to the present. Yes. And you bring it up in your life in the present. Preach. It says what? Now see, open up to me the gates of peace. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord. Joy. Yes. Happiness. Yes. Because see, if you ain't serving the Lord God of Israel, you ain't gonna have that no way. All right. mm -hmm. So I want him to open that up to me. I acknowledge that I've done wrong. Uh -huh. I acknowledge that I can't make it without you. Uh -huh. I acknowledge that it was you, Lord God of Israel, that yes. done all these things for me and not me myself. Yes. I'm acknowledging yes. now. I mean, I'm humming myself down. Yes. See, sometimes we get up high. It's okay to come back down low. My mama taught me it's better to be uh, come down than to be knocked down. Yeah. You get up too high, that's a long way to fall back down. Yeah. So I, I want to be humble to the God of Israel so that he can use me. Yeah. Hallelujah. And it says what? Yeah, come on. I will go into them and I will praise them. Now see, I'm going to go into them because I know once I enter into his gates, with thanksgiving and it's caused with praise. Yeah. I got something coming. That's the God of Israel. I'm acknowledging, Holy Father, that I need you and I desire what you have for me. Yeah. See, it says, ask and yeah. it shall be given. Yeah. If you seek him, then you will find him. Yeah. So whatever it is you need, the Lord God of Israel got it. Yeah. And sometimes things we need, we don't think we need it, but the God of Israel gave it to us and I thank him for Amen. that. And it says sure. what? This gate of the Lord is specified what gate. I'm talking about the Lord, the gate of the Lord God of Israel that's yeah. got wisdom, knowledge, and can give me a better understanding yeah. of how to serve a true and a living God. Yeah. And I want to let you know the one that's standing at the main gate is 
is that stone of Israel, which is Bishop Bobby Joe Davis. Amen. That is leading God and the God of Israel people. The God of Israel is not an unjust God. He's a just God for all of us Amen. because we have all come short, sin of his glory. All sin that comes short of his glory. But nevertheless, the God of Israel is standing there with his arms stretched out, yeah. waiting for us to return back to him. Yeah. Return back to the leader, which is the stone. You yeah. might not like him. You might not want him, but I guarantee you he's what we need yeah. because the God of Israel said he never found thee a man to sit on the throne of Israel. Yeah. So he's letting us know Israel, we ought to be happy. We ought to be rejoicing. We ought to be shouting because we know he said he was yeah. not sent but unto the lost sheep yeah. of the house of Israel. That's yeah. you and I. Yeah. We ought to be thankful. We ought to be grateful. We ought to not walk around here with attitude, but with lots of gratitude. Yeah. And it says what? Into which the righteous shall enter. To righteous. Only the righteous can enter. And some said, none but the righteous shall yeah. see God. Yeah. And that's true because that's the spirit of the God of Israel. Yeah. Only the righteous see righteousness. Yeah. If you're not righteous, then you don't see the God of Israel. And it says what? I will praise thee. I, Francis, is going to praise thee. Why? Because he's done so much for me. Yeah. I can't tell the world even if I wanted to begin to tell you. And hallelujah, I don't have to look way back. I can look just a few minutes ago what he yeah. does for me. Yeah. I can start with how he rose yeah. me up this morning. Yeah. Clothes in my yeah. right mind. Yeah. Hallelujah, didn't have no aches and pains in my mind. Yeah. I can think for myself. Yeah. I can take care of myself. Yeah. That's a blessing within itself because some rose this morning. Yeah. They couldn't think for themselves. Yeah. They couldn't do nothing for themselves. They depend on somebody yeah. to do it for them. Yeah. Isn't we have so much? Yeah. I have so much to thank yeah. him for. Yeah. Yes, I do. Not yeah. only for myself, for my children, for my yeah. family. Yeah. How he take care of them even when they don't serve him, even yeah. when they don't choose yeah. to do right. Yeah. He do it for me because I asked yeah. him to do it for yeah. my sake. Yeah. Yeah. And he will do it. It's the Lord God of Israel, I tell you. Yeah. I tell you, I can't, I can't make it without him. Yeah. Oh, I can't make it without him. Right. He's our all, my all in all. Yeah. And I'm so glad that I know the stone. Yeah. I know the stone that's teaching me and leading yeah. God. Me. Yeah. As I said this morning, I don't call Bishop naturally. I call him spiritually because I don't want to depend on seeing him naturally. What yeah. am I going to do when he yeah. can't come to my rescue yeah. naturally? So, right. But I connect with him spiritually. And I thank the God of Israel for that. And it says what? Thou hast heard me. Now, I know. I know that the God really heard me. If yeah. he had not heard me, I wouldn't be here today. Yeah. I wouldn't be here today. I thank the God yeah. that he heard my cry. Yeah. Yes, he came to my rescue. Truly the Lord God of Israel is good to Israel, even to such as of, of a clean heart. And we got to have a clean heart because this is the temple where the Lord God of Israel dwell. We are the temple of the living God. And that living God is the God of Israel. So therefore, it's letting me know, if I ain't got it right, I better get it right. You better get it right. There shouldn't be no excuse. You know why? Because we're being taught. Yeah. This is not in every, in every state, but he got somebody there to teach the word. Yeah. It's not up to us whether we hear it. Yeah. He said you just can't be a hearer of the word, yeah. but you got to be a doer of the word. Yeah. And that's what we got to do. Stop talking so much, yeah. but put it into action. Yeah. And it says what? And art become my salvation. He's my salvation. He's the only one can free us. Mm. He's the only one. Man can't do it. Let me tell you about man. The man will give it, and the man will take it right back away from you. The very that you don't say what he wants you to say, yeah. do what you want yeah. him to do, act uh -huh. the way he wants you to do. Uh -huh. He snatch everything and then tell you, if it wasn't for me. But see, you forgot to say, if it wasn't for the God of Israel in you yeah. that allowed this to happen. We want to take the credit from the God of Israel. Yeah. But I, I tell you, it's yeah. best that we give it back because I'm telling you. We can't make it without the Lord God of Israel. He chose us. We didn't choose him. Amen. You know why he chose us? Because he knew we was going to need him. He knew we was going to be mistreated. Yeah. He knew that things wasn't gonna, we weren't going to have a, a, a good understanding mm -hmm. of our own All that right. we needed him. And I All accept right. him. Yeah. You got to accept him. You got to have a personal relationship yeah. with, ship with him for yourself. And it says what? The stone which the builders refused. See, a lot of people, they won't, Bishop Bobby. But he the one we got to look up to today. The God really knew that we were going to be pick our own little clique, yeah. our own little special people. Yeah. But guess what? Those that you depend on, it comes from the God of Israel. He say, don't do it. It can't be done. Right. So let right. us accept right. him openly. Mm -hmm. As Bishop said, so we can build together. I thought about ants. You don't see ants fussing and fighting. 
You don't see them telling me the queen and that I don't want to do what you say do I want to do it. That's a little old bitty animal. Right. But they have big stuff on their back working. Work. Working towards the saving the have goal. what they need. Same we got to do the same thing as I say sometimes the animals right. have more right. sense than we do. Right. And we say we are a special people to him. Of a royal priesthood. Yeah. Let us stop talking it. Let's start walking it. Over five years, we don't have our mind made up. Who are we going to serve? Who are we going to let host our house? We ought to know by now. And it says, well, I'm trying to close out. The head corner. Now, we know the God of Israel is a head, the chief cornerstone. Right. He's the one passed it down to Bishop Bobby. Yeah. Bishop Bobby passed it to us. Yeah. We pass it down to our children yeah. from generation to generation, and it's not going to change. Yeah. And I thank the God of Israel for that, and it says what? It's the, Lord it's the God of Israel doing. Yeah. It ain't mine. Yeah. It ain't yours. Yeah. So whether you like it or not, it's the God of Israel doing. Yeah. We're going to do it. My mother said either we're going to use the pot and get off of it. Yeah. It's time to talk it yeah. and walk it. To be an example for the God of Israel. Because he says that he is our God. He is our father. Yeah. We are his children. There is nothing too good for us. Amen. The reason we don't get all the things that we desire and want is because we rejected him. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. We rejected him. He never rejected us out of all the wrong things that we've done. Even when we knew it was wrong, we did it. He still accepted us in. He forgave us. He threw it in the sea of forget forgetness. Forgetfulness. And we got to do the same thing. And it says what? It is marvelous in our eyes. It's marvelous in our eyes. Look at the beauty of it. Yeah. Look at the blessings that flow yes. from it. Yes. It's in our eyes. It's in the individual. Because everybody don't see what you see. Right. Because if, you, if they're in the, in the flesh, they see the things of the flesh. Yeah. Uh -huh. But when you're in the spirit, yeah. you see the things of the, of the spirit. And that spirit that we're talking about is the Lord God of Israel. Yeah. And that spirit that we see walks before us in this day and time is Bishop Dodd, Bobby Davis. Just watch him. Watch his eyes. Yeah. When you're in the spirit of you see he's a total. And some people say he's a man like me. He might be to you. But he's not a man like you to me. I see, his, I see him as a spiritual man. A leader. The one that's holding the, 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 the Godhead for us. The mediator between us and the God of Israel. Once again when I say you can't do it yourself. You can depend on him. And he says what? I told you he made it. Now it's left up to you whether you want to rejoice in it. Right. I choose to. Right. Yeah. I choose to. This is yeah. the day. And I'm not going to harden my heart. I'm going to receive whatever it is he has for me because yeah. I want to run on. I know I can't run this journey, make this journey without him. All and right. it says what? He, will rejoice and be glad in he said we, but it's left up to you now. Because right. I'm glad that we don't always have to do everything together because some didn't want to attend Sunday school this morning. Some ain't uh, not attending 11 o'clock service today. But I had a chance that I could go off without you. Yeah. Now I can pray for you, but I'm not in this race for me. Yeah. And it right. says what? Save now. I beseech thee. Oh, Save now. That's the only way I'm be saved by the God of Israel. I understand, Holy Father, that I need you, and I cannot make it without you. Amen. I put my trust in you. Yeah. Only you do I put my trust. Yeah. Like I said, he's there whenever you need him. I love it that I can call him early in the morning, and I do. I call him in the noonday, I do. I call him late in the midnight hours, I do. And I don't mind telling nobody that I call him. And when I call him, yes, I get results. And I thank you. I'm not going to hold him for the service. I'm going to turn the for the service back into the hands of Reverend John. Hear you him. rejected uh, knowledge, but that's what makes them uh, what? Ignorant. But the God of Israel don't want us to be ignorant. He wants us to continue to praise and lift him up and in him we can find peace. Yes. Love. Yeah. Joy. Happiness. But Israel, you got to be sincere about this God. God, he's a jealous God. Yes, yes. So at this time, okay, we're going to, at this time, we're going to 
Keep on lifting up the God of Israel and we're going to bring to you our own. Remember in this vineyard, um, Bishop Reverend <laughs> Dan Farnett. Yes. yes, indeed. Amen. God of Israel has a lot in store for us. Yeah. Every, every time we get to make a step, there's a blessing in it. Right. So we don't want to lose our blessing. Amen. Because that's why we love and serve the God of Israel. He's so good to us. Now we want to be good to him. Yes. Amen. All right. right. Reverend Derek Barnett, let's just see the way. Amen. I rise and give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, say I'm thankful to be here. Thank you for my life, life, my sisters and brothers, yes. both naturally and spiritually. Thank you for my pastor, my king, Bishop Bobby J. Davis, our queen, my mother Gloria Davis. Uh, thankful for the Kentucky Temple, Amen. who I know has been working hard to get ready for the assembly. Yes. Uh, thank you for our overseer, yes. our Bishop Carswell, uh, his wife, my brother, bride mother Val Carswell, the ministry staff here in Kentucky. Um, I'm thankful for the Chicago Temple, you know, who saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. Uh -huh. and that, but it's truly a good thing when someone sees something in you. And, they, and, and it's truly something when you hear the word to say, you know, let me step out on this word and see what happens. Because <laughs> yeah. the God of Israel's word is surely good. Thank for my mother who taught me when nobody, when nobody else was around about the God of Israel. Yes. Thank for my journey. Praise God. Um, I wouldn't trade my journey for anything in the world. Oh, you know, it's had its all ups right. and downs yes. and inside outs and all kinds yes, of things. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything because it truly was the way that the God of Israel could get my attention. <laughs> you know, and, and, and I have found sometimes that, you know, the God of Israel whispers to you and sometimes he yells at you. You know, and it's, it, it's good to hear him when he's whispering to you, you know, because yeah. when he gets to screaming at you, you know, it's definitely something going to get your attention. All right. yes. Um, yes. The rock, the rock of Israel. No, that's is that the thing? Stone. stone of Israel. Stone. The stone of Israel. Yes, what a beautiful, what a beautiful foundation that we have here. Uh, let me give you my scriptures. I, you know, I, I really, really was trying to cut these down, but I just uh, okay. Saint John seven thirty seven thirty eight. Uh, Isaiah sixty one one. And then let's go to uh, Ecclesiastics 3.15. Then Joel 2.27. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 6. 1 Kings 9.5. Ezekiel 2, 2 and 3. And then we have the scripture that Bishop Beavers gave to me. Amen. Proverbs 6, 22 and 23. Then let's get our subject verse. And then let's get... Um, Romans 7, 21 through 24. Matthew 6, 33. And we're going to roll right through these. Amen. Then we're going to get those fruits of the Spirit again. Amen. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Amen. Amen. Luke 17, 21. Amen. Revelations 21, 1. And then Psalms 72, 18. You know, um, Praise the Lord. you know, we have to, we have to really, well, uh, speak for myself. I have to work on that fear that's in me. You know, the scripture tells us, fear not for I am with thee. Yeah, you know, sometimes the world get to working with you and uh -huh. you get to get a little bit nervous. Yes. You know, uh, yesterday I was heading over to ministers council. And I had to pull over on the highway because my car was overheating. It's the same car that I fixed the suspension on, got new tires and all that stuff to uh -huh. come out here to Louisville. And now it's overheating, right? So I pulled over, put some water in it, was able to make it to a minister's council, um, then put some cooling in it, came back. And uh, by the time I came back, the reservoir was, was empty again. Not sure what's going on. So I'm a little nervous. My mom a little nervous. 
other people a little nervous, you know, um, and I didn't know what to do, you know, uh, but I knew I was on a mission for the king. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. but I was still scared, you know, still scared, still nervous. Um, so and my mother was really nervous. So I called the king about 1030 at night. And, you know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was I was looking for a little bit of a way out. Like, you know, maybe I don't have to leave at three, four o'clock in the morning. You know, maybe I go find me a mechanic or something like that. I said, well, Bishop, I know there's a place that opens up at eight and um, I can go there, but I wouldn't make it a service. He was like, huh? I don't know. You know, so, <laughs> but he gave me some instructions on what to do. And so I followed those instructions. Yeah. And then I went to my mother and said, I talked to the king. He gave me instructions. And said, did, everything, did he say everything is going to be okay? Yeah. I said, well, he gave me the instructions. So yeah. to me, that means everything's going to be okay. 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 Right. So I, I got in the car and I, I made it on down here, you know? Yes, and the car, wasn't, the car wasn't overheating at all. You know, I followed the instructions and everything was good, yeah. you know? And I'm driving along. You know, I know Bishop asked me to say something. So I'm preparing something in my mind. I got the gospel radio station on. I'm thinking about the king, you know, picturing the king and, and this and that. And, and I'm driving along. And I see a police car on the side of the road, and I just kind of started looking at him, and I drove by him, doing about 75, you know, and I went around this turn, and around the turn, the highway had stopped. Oh. And so I had to slam on the brakes, veer the car up on two wheels, you know, and, and, and I'm just thankful to God of Israel. Yeah. You know, thankful to God of Israel. You know, my mother said this one time, God of Israel's got feet too, you know, because something hit that brake real, real quick, you know, and I was able to avoid any hurt, harm, or danger to myself or the car, you know, because it didn't have to be that way because I sure enough was looking, paying attention over here and the God of Israel turned my head and I was able to see and I had to slam it on, like I said, up on two wheels and um, praise God. God of Israel is God of Israel is good. The God of Israel is good, you know, and, and that's why we must we must have a desire to serve the God of Israel. We must have a desire, and that's why He said in St. John 30, 37, In the last day, in the last day, see, we we talking about we talking about the here and now, right? Right. We talking about the here and now in the last day. That great day of the. We talking about the day of celebration. Yeah. We talking about the day of celebration from moving from something from from I was worried to I am confident. Yeah. That's something to celebrate. Right. I was yeah. sick. Right. Now I'm healthy. Yeah. That is yeah. something to celebrate. All you know, right. and that's the last day. I'm leaving all those things all behind right. me. That's the last of those things. And now it's time to celebrate. And the great day of celebration. Jesus stood crying saying. Jesus stood crying saying. And today I'm standing crying and saying. If because he, I know there's a man on the throne in this generation. Go ahead and read. Yeah. If any man thirsts. If any man thirsts. If any man has a desire to come out of whatever they're in. It has a desire to make a change in their life. Has a desire to put down drugs. Has a desire to put down alcohol. Has a desire to, you know, to fulfill their goals and dreams in life. If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. Let him come unto me and drink. We talking about the words that I'm speaking to you today. We yeah. talking about the spirit of the God of Israel. This spirit that I have, okay, has, has been baptized by the man of God in this generation through His words. Read. He that believeth on me. And, we, and we're not talking about he, uh, man or woman, but the one, the one that believes on me. That includes all of us. Anyone who believes on me. As the scripture has said. As I prove it to you by the scripture, I want you to believe on me today because I'm preaching the doctrine of the spiritual church and its army that's yeah. been inspired by the one and only true God, yeah. the God of Israel. Go ahead and read. He that believeth on me. He that believeth on me, the as one that believes on me, as the scripture has said, as the scripture has said out of his belly, out of you, shall flow, rivers shall of flow water. some positive results in your life. Amen. You don't have to do. You don't have to dwell in that negativity. You don't have to dwell in what your sinful past may be. You yeah. can stay, take a step forward out on the word of the God of Israel. Read. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me, and I want you to believe on me because the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to praise his name. The Lord has anointed me to give some hope. The Lord has anointed me to preach some joy, some health, some happiness. We're not here to preach about death and oh, oh heavenly afterwards. We're talking about heaven right here and right now. Give me the next scripture. That which has been. That which has been. They've been preaching this some way back then. I know I know that um, <clears throat> you can go back to my, you know, uh, my great, 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 great grandfather. Um, Denmark Vesey, you know, who was preaching this back then, preaching that they were the Israelites, mm -hmm. preaching that you got power, 
Don't let these people fool you. You got power. You can stand up to them. And then it came on down through the generations. Reverend Burrow V.C., my great, great grandmother, uh, Elder Narvell V.C., my grandmother, Elder um, Victoria Mears, you know, and now it's down to me. And I got a bishop, too, in my family, too. So this word has been and is now. Go ahead and read. And that which has already been. And that which has already been, the God of Israel who's been good to his people way back in Genesis. And God required that which is bad. It's going to be the same thing now. He requires you to believe that what he did back then, he will do for you now. As long as the, 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 the consistent thing is the name. Right. The name of Israel. Amen. The name of Israel had power then, is now. And that's required for us to have that power. We got to have that. We can't change it. We can't change it because what has been is required then is now. Go ahead and read. And you shall know. And then you go know. Once you stay in the land of in, in, a, in the land of Israel. And we're not talking about natural land, we're talking about spiritual land. Go ahead and read. I am in the midst of Israel. He, he is in the midst of us. And that I am the Lord your God. And he says, I am the Lord your God. And none else. And none else. We don't have to be ashamed. Just like they worshiped back in Genesis, we can worship right here in 2024. We don't have to mumble when we talk about the spirituals of church at the time. You know, Bishop Bobby says it all the time. Don't let them question you, okay? Let them prove to you you're not who you say you are. Okay, and they ought to be careful because they don't know who they're messing with. Amen. Go ahead and read. Hear, O Israel. Because hear, O Israel. And that's why when he gave us the commandment, he started out with our name. Yes. He called us by our name. He said, hear, O Israel. The Lord our God. The Lord our God. Is one Lord. Is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God. And see, God. that's a statement that can last through the, through the test of time. The Lord our God is one Lord. He was our one Lord back then. He's our one Lord to this day. Go ahead and read. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God. With all thy heart. With all thy heart. With all thy soul. With all thy soul. With all thy might. With all thy might. In these words. In these words. Which I command thee this day. Which I command thee this day. Shall be in thy heart. Shall be in thy heart. Amen. So in order for us to love the Lord God of us, we got to love and serve one another. Amen. We got to love attending our services. Amen. We gotta love being on time. We gotta love paying our tithes. We gotta love having respect for one another. And we have to do that with all that. Sometimes it takes all our strength to do those things. Amen. You're thinking about that Amen. bill in the back of your head, and you're thinking about that 10% that you gotta give, and it's gonna take all your power that you got to give to the God of Israel first from off the top. And let the God of Israel work his work in your day. Go ahead and read. Then I will establish. Then I will establish. So once we start loving the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength, okay, we start to realize that he has given us somebody. Yeah. We start to realize, we start to open up our eyes and see that God works through bodies. Yeah. We open up our eyes and we see he's given us somebody on the throne that's leading the God. All we have to do is sit there and hear this man. Yeah. Go ahead and read. There should not fail thee a man. Go ahead. Upon the throne of Israel. See, we need somebody in this generation. Amen. You know, we can read this book all we want to, you know, but this book ain't talking to us. Right. This book ain't, you know, this book ain't covering some of the problems that I got. Amen. I got to go to the king with a, with a personal thing that ain't in this book. You know, ain't nobody went through some of the things that I went through. Okay, and I need a man of God in this generation that can touch my spirit and pick me up. Go ahead and read. And the spirit entered into me. And the spirit entered into me. And when he spake unto me. Yeah. See, when he spake unto me. It set me upon my feet. He, I was baptized by his word one day. Yeah. One day I was walking around on the ground because I knew I had to make a, a change in my life. I knew I had to give up some things that I didn't want to give up. Uh -huh. I called the man of God in this generation to tell him that I was scared and I was nervous. I didn't know yeah. what I was going to do. Yeah. He spoke a word to me that yeah. stood me up on my feet. Oh, yeah. He said, son, stand up. Yeah. Stand up and be strong. You an Israelite. You a child of the king. Yeah. You don't have to worry about what you letting go. Just look straight ahead and keep yeah. marching forward to the king's orders. Go ahead and read. And he set me upon my feet. And he set me upon my feet. His yeah. word baptized me and gave me strength and lifted yeah. me up and put me on my feet. Yeah, Head right. held high. Go ahead and read. That I heard him that spake unto me. Go ahead and read. And he said unto me. And he said unto me. Son of man. Son of man. I send thee to the children of Israel. So this is something that he was blessed with. This is something that the man of God was blessed with by the God of Israel. He was able to speak a word. Because where the word of the king is, there's what? There is power. And he's going to need some power because what? 
Israel, and to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation, to a rebellious Derek, that has rebelled against me, that had rebelled against God's word for a long, long time. They, they there was a long time I decided I wasn't going to church. I'd rather sit at home and watch football. You know, I'd rather sit at home and do the things that I like to do. You know, it, it was it was so bad. You know, I I was in Chicago. You know, I would I would sit there. I'd be dressed for church. And I started getting getting into the things I like to get into. Then slowly my tie would come off. My jacket would come off. Shoes would come off. Next year, I'm no I'm back in my pajamas. Call um uh trustee, yeah, I'm not feeling well today. You know, okay, I hope you feel better. I had had right. folks in church praying for me. And I was over there faking. What a disgrace that was. You know? I mean, I mean, it, it's it, I just can't believe. The things I used to do to avoid serving the God of Israel, you know. But one day, one day, one day, your eyes get open, yeah. and you see the glory, yeah. and you feel His power. Yeah. He lifts you up off your feet. Yeah. Say, Derek, you can let go of these yeah. things. Yeah. You can move on from these things because yeah. it's the Spirit that quickens. Right. Okay, yeah. it's the Spirit that's in you. Your fleshly desires are not going to profit yeah. you anything. Yeah. But that spirit of the God of Israel is in you. Yeah. It will lift you up and make you a spiritually rich man. Go ahead and read. All right. For the, the nation that have rebelled against me. For the nation that rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me. Go ahead. Give me the next one. Amen. When thou goest, it shall lead thee. Once I get that word in me, and once I decide to give my life over to the God of Israel, yeah. and stop being so selfish, and start to love Teach, and serve right? other people. Teach, and start to be with God's yeah. chosen people. Teach. And be proud of who I am. Yeah. Go ahead and start it over again. When thou goest, Wherever I go. The spirit of the man of God in this generation is going to lead me. Yeah. When, thou sleepest, when I sleep at night. It shall keep me. It's going to keep me. Yeah. It's going to keep me in some joy. It's yeah. going to keep me in some health. It's going to keep yeah. me in some happiness. Read. When thou and when I wake up. That spirit is going to talk with you. Yeah. It's going to say, good morning, Reverend Darren, because yeah. this is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. Go ahead and rejoice and be glad in it. Go yeah. ahead and read. For the commandment is a lamp. For the commandment is a lamp. These things that the man of God has commanded us to do, right? He he, he, told, he won't let me get no excuses out there for this right. morning. Right. All right. right. He, he had expectations of me, yeah. right? This is the lamp. This is going to light my way. It's going to be another testimony. Yeah. It's going to be something I can feel down deep in my soul. Yeah. All right, they put 10 of us in here, but the spirit is high. Yeah. You know, the spirit is high because the man don't have to be here in the flesh, but his spirit is here. Yeah. We're all grateful for the man of God in this generation. Read. Yeah. And the law is light. Okay, and the law is the light. And the truth of instruction are the way of life. Yeah. And the corrections of Derek's way of thinking yeah. are going to be my way of life. Yeah. That's why we talk about, you know, sometimes I have to put myself down and say, what would Bishop Bobby do? <laughs> Go ahead and read. Amen. The same stone. And so this is the stone. Which the builders refused. See, they don't want to see it. it it's a lot easier to be held accountable by somebody you ain't never going to see. Right, right. Yeah. You know, they waiting for Jesus to hold them accountable. You ain't never going to see him. Yeah. He ain't going to walk up to you and tap you on your shoulder and say, son, you wrong. Uh -huh. He ain't going to walk up to you and say, you know what? You need to, you need to love this person. You need to pay your tithes. It's really, to be, really easy to, to, be, to hold somebody in that regard that they ain't never going to correct you. Right. But right. this is the stone. Which the builders refuse. They refuse to believe that there's a man of God in this generation right here and right now. Somebody's going to walk with you. Somebody's going to talk with you. Someone's yeah. going to love you. Someone's hand that you can shake. Yeah. Someone who's going to scold you when you're wrong. Yes. Someone's going to be able to read you and know what you're going through. Yes. You know, I mean, yes. we, got a power, we got powerful men and women yes. in, in the spiritual church yes. and, and its army. We got powerful people that will read you and let you know, hey, what you're thinking is wrong. You need to let that go. Let and we'll warn you. Go ahead and read. It's become the headstone of the corner. See, this is why we're going to get ahead. This is how we're going to how we're going to bring ourselves up individually and as a nation. Go ahead and read. I find in a law that. And I need this, right? I need I need 
I need someone to correct me. I need someone that I can talk to. Yes. I need a bench to be able to sit down and be patient until he's ready to speak to me, you know, because that's a sacrifice that I got to make. Yes. You know what I'm saying? The other people ain't got to make that sacrifice. Amen. But we want to talk to the man of God. We got to sit quietly and wait our turn. Amen. You know, go ahead and read. When I would do good. When I would do good. Oh, evil was always present with me. I wanted to do good. I wanted to be here in Kentucky, but that old evil side of me was saying, you know what? You can wait. You can wait. Go ahead and read. For I delight in the law of God. But I delight in the law of God. I delight in what we teach here. I delight in the people. Read. After the inward man. After the inward man. This is I'm taught. Go ahead and read. But I see another law in my members. But I see another law in my members. The law of Derek in my members. <laughs> Warring against me, you know, pulling me back and forth. Go ahead and read. And bringing me into And sometimes that tug of war, you know, it's at a stalemate, right? Uh -huh. And that's why I'm glad there's a man of God in this generation that can grab one end of it and start getting some leverage to pull me over to the right side. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if I didn't have that, then who knows where I would be. Amen. It's good to be encouraged by the men we have over us. Go ahead and read. To the law of sin, which is in my members. Go ahead and read. Oh, wretched man that I am. Oh, wretched man that I am. Who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Who is going to deliver me from this? Who's going to deliver me from the Derek's way of thinking? Go ahead and read. But ye seek ye first. See, first I have to seek ye. The kingdom of God. We're talking about the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. See, that's what I have to remember when I got that war going on. Right. I got to seek the kingdom of God first. And, and his righteousness. And his, we're talking about the God of Israel's righteousness. And all these things shall be added up to you. Now, when I'm seeking ye first the kingdom of God, right, the things that I'm seeking first is what? Give me the next one. We're seeking the fruits of the spirit. Yes. Yes. So the first thing I need to be seeking is some love. Yes. I need to find the love in the situation. Read. Joy. I need to find some joy in this situation, yeah. whatever's going on. Yeah. Cause I could be, I could be at the bottom, but I, I can seek joy in it because I know my God is going to deliver me. Yeah. And what a joyous day that's going to be. Go ahead and read. I'm going to seek peace when, when someone is talking about me and, yeah. and, and, and blaspheming me over, over my name and all this kind of stuff. I can seek peace in that situation. Go ahead and read. I can seek some 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 longevity, some way I can go through some things. I don't have to blow up at the first thing somebody says to me. Go ahead. I gotta seek gentleness. I gotta seek a way to talk to somebody. I gotta be gentle when I talk to them. I can't just give them back. I, you know they have that saying when they say, um, "I'm gonna give you the same energy you give me." I can't. I can't always do that. Amen. Somebody come up with some bad energy. I can't give you bad energy back because I'm a representative of the king. I'm a child of the king. Go ahead. Bishop Bobby wouldn't do that to me, so I couldn't do it to nobody else. Go ahead and read. Some goodness. Some faith. I got to have some confidence in what's going on. Meekness. Meekness. I got to be able to humble myself. Temperance. And some temperance. I got to hold that temper of mine. Against such, there is no law. Against such, they can't make no law against this. Can't no law that this world can make that can take away the fruits of the Spirit. The only person that can take away my fruits of the spirit is myself. Amen. But they, anything, anything external cannot affect what the God of Israel internally has given me. Amen. Go ahead and read. Neither shall they say low here. So if I'm going to seek ye first the kingdom of God, where do I have to seek it at? Right. Neither shall they say low here. I can't seek it over there. Or low I, there. I can't seek it over there in that person. Right. I can't seek it at my job. I can't seek it over off in the streets. I can't seek it in my bank account. I can't seek it all, all those other places. For low here or low there. For behold, for behold, the kingdom of God. All those fruits of the spirit that the God of Israel has given us in his kingdom is where? Is within you. Is within me. I have to seek those things within me. So no matter what happens externally, internally, I can still have that peace, love, joy, health, and happiness. Go ahead and read. Oh, and when this happens, I see a new heaven. Oh, yeah. And I see yeah. a new earth. Yeah. Before, I thought the heaven was someplace I got to go and got to see oh, or whatever, right. someplace I was trying to get, yeah. you know? And the earth was where I was at right now, but I'm trying to get oh, someplace right. else. Yeah. Go ahead and read. For the first heaven and the first earth. For the first heaven and the first earth, they passed away. They, passed away. they, they were two separate things. Now they are not two separate things. Right. Go ahead and read. And there is no more sea. 
and there was no more seed dividing it. So now they became one. Yeah. Heaven and earth became one Jeez. because the kingdom of God is within me. It wasn't something externally. It's all one. Yeah. All can come together within me. Go ahead and read. Blessed be the Lord God. And when I put my trust in the God of Israel, I can say, blessed be the Lord God. The God of Israel. The God of Israel. Who only do it. Oh, because that Reverend Derek needs some wondrous things to happen in his life. i got to get rid of some things. But if I put it in the God of Israel's hands, through the man of God that he gave us for this generation, yeah. blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only do it wondrous things. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 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 When you're down, just think of what you got in you. <laughs> And when you think about what you got in you, you can use it. You can do yeah, something. Yeah. Because the God of Israel does what? Wondrous things. Oh, I like that. I like that. I want to yeah. thank you, yeah. Reverend Derek. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Keep on preaching the God in your word. Yeah. And truly, if nobody knows, let me be the one to tell you that there is a God in all, in all the earth that's in Israel. Yeah. And he will. He'll work it out. All, right. All we have to do is just be patient in Amen. it. Yes. Amen. And love one another. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You know, so many things we go through and we come out of it when the God of Israel brings us and have us to overcome it, we need to give him praise. Yeah. Because Thank when you. the God of Israel bless us, we can in turn pay it forward, as they say, and bless somebody else. Amen. All right. Right now, this day, we have a man in our midst that has been through some of the things that we can even we just can't even imagine. But you know, God of Israel brought him through. Yeah. Right. If he can bring him through, don't you think he can bring us? Amen. Amen. God of Israel can do all things. Oh. If we just believe. Yeah. So put your hand together for the man in this generation, our own overseer, assistant overseer, man in this district, our own Bishop Coswell. Let's receive him well. And I think this worked for all of us. <laughs> While we in me, Lord, walk while we in me,
I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, giving all honor and praise to the great and mighty God of Israel. Oh, let's give him some praise, y'all. Oh, we don't have some church up in here today. We ought to be able to thank the great and mighty God of Israel for what he has already done. And be ready to thank you for what he's going to do. That he continues to keep us in the land of living. I want to be thankful for the man of God in this generation. Yeah. The honorable Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, our king. Yeah. Be thankful for our queen and the host of bishops. Be thankful for my wife. Yeah. And to all the ones that make up the house of Israel from the north, yeah. south, east, and west. Yeah. Israel the world over. Yeah. I just want to say I'm glad to be right here. Yeah. Be right here in Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. You know, today I want to be thankful. I know today was my day to speak. But the king has allowed us to have Zoom yeah. since he went in. So I wanted to make sure that the people out there got some service today, Amen. that we didn't just come and cut it short. And I want to thank Reverend Francis and Reverend David for awesome. And I'm not going to be here long, but we're going to talk a little bit about this storm. Let me go and give a few scriptures. You know, I always get my right him out, but I'm just going to give about three or four scriptures. And we're going to talk and we're going to get on into this. We're going to get the St. John 7.38, St. John 6.29. Let's get that subject. Then let's get Isaiah 28.16. Then we're going to get Acts 4.11 and Genesis 49.24. And that'll be, this will probably be some more than I probably quoted myself. Amen. But we're talking about the stone. But see, I want to let you know that this, it's the difference between the stone and the chief, the chief. cornerstone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, there's a chief cornerstone. Uh -huh. We don't want to ever want to get that mixed up. Uh -huh. Who is the chief cornerstone? Uh -huh. Which is nothing than the great and mighty God of Israel. But he sent one. Uh -huh. That's why the scripture says, who turned the truth in God into a lie yeah. to serve the creature more than the creator? The creature's job is to lead us to the great and mighty God of Israel. Right. Why? Because they say, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel. We was lost. Yes. Messed up. Yes. Tired up. Yes. All kind of troubles and problems. I like what she said about the amp. You know, y'all know how little an amp is? But look at the things that the ant can pull. Yeah, right. We cry about all the troubles and trials yeah. that we go through. Uh -huh. We try that I can't make it through. Yeah. But the little old ant yeah. yeah. carried five and six times his weight. Right. Yeah. He said, but guys, I won't put no more on you yeah. than you can bear. Yeah. Why can't I make it? Because why? I'm putting more on myself. Then I can bear. Yeah. It ain't that God putting it on me. Yeah. It's me. Yeah. I woke up in some bad day. God didn't make no bad day. I woke up on the wrong side. Ain't no wrong side of the bed. It's the condition of things that we're going through that makes it bad. Everything that my father made is good and very good. He made you and me. He made us good. Why did we turn evil? Because we went that way. Because we wouldn't follow the stone. We wanted to follow everybody else's stone. Because they had big churches. 
fine cars. But the little old one over here that ain't got but 10 members in it. Little old store firm. I didn't want that. But I want to let you know today there's power. There's power in that little old church. There's relief of a trouble heart where those little 10 people at. All you got to do is call it. All you got to do is try him. Have you tried it today, Israel? Try it for yourself. Knowing that the God of Israel would make it all right. I tell him in there, he's a rule breaker. He'll break all the rules for those that are called by his name. When the judge says 200 years, he'll shut his mouth. When the doctor says it's all over, he'll step right in. Ain't he a rule breaker? Have you broke any rules for anybody in here today? Have you broke a rule for you today? You better try it for yourself. What that first scripture says. He that believeth on me. He that. This is an individual thing. Yes, don't worry about it if I don't believe, Sister Mary, or whoever don't believe. He. That believeth on me. Why is that a belief? As a hold up, hold up. Mm-hmm. It's a he that believeth. Why? Because I don't see the demonstration. Mm-hmm. You just ain't going to believe on anything. Uh-huh. I need to see some results. Uh-huh. When I came and gave my hand, I seen a change in my life. And yeah. Reverend Derek Reddish, I saw a new heaven yeah. and a new earth. Because yeah. the first thing in my life had passed away. Yeah. All that stuff I thought was right. Yeah. All the thing I thought was good yeah. is gone. Yeah. I see the way more clear now. Yeah. I see the way. I'm following the true and the living God. Yeah. One that is walking and talking in the people. All right. yeah. And then what? As he that believeth on me, he that believeth, as the scripture has said, as, the, as we prove it according to the scripture. Now listen, I'm going to tell you, these scriptures ain't talking to you. Mm-hmm. You can talk to Mark, Luke, Jeremiah all you want. They ain't saying nothing. Uh-huh. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you had Obadiah. Uh-huh. But they ain't going to say nothing. No. But he leads a living man. A living man. What my next scripture said. You can go to the next. This is why he need a living man. Jesus answered and said unto him. What did he say? This is the work of. Sorry, one time. This is the work of God. This is the work of God. That ye believe on him who hath. That ye believe on him who he hath sent. That you believe on who? That he has sent. On him who I have sent. Did say believe on the scripture? Believe on him that I sent, then as he approved it to you according to the scripture. Then out of your belly shall flow. You need somebody to break it down. Why? Because we've been destroyed. Our mind's been messed up. But what the next one says? The stone which the builders refused. Listen. The stone which the builders refused. It's become the headstone of the corner. Why? Because God chose it. From the beginning, we was here. But we messed up. And he put us into captivity. And they cut us off from being a nation. That the name of Israel. You know why? Because there was power in the name. There's the relief of a troubled heart in the name of Israel. Can I get a witness? Yes. Somebody ought to know today there's power in the name of Israel. Yes. There's relief in it. Yes. There's joy in the name of yes. Israel. All I got to do is yes. present my body yes. a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the God of Israel, which is my reasonable service. Yes. I said my reasonable service. Yes. Something I should do. Yes. Not that I ought to do. Yes. I'm supposed to do. I owe you for what all you done done for me. You looked at all my faults. You saw my need when I didn't couldn't pray for myself. The Bible says every man thinks he's right in his own eyesight. But that don't mean that it's right. But when I come in the word of a true and living God, I realize I had made some mistakes. But you looked over all my faults. 
And you let me see this day. You touched me with your finger, love. You let me rise today. To use the activities of my limbs. That I can walk and talk. I can call on your name. Say, Lord God, I thank you. What my next would say. Therefore. Do it. Behold. What? I lay in Zion. What? For a foundation of stone. A foundation of stone. Listen, I'm going to tell you. You got the chief cornerstone, uh -huh. which is the God of Israel. Yeah. But the God of Israel is a spirit. Yeah. He that worship him. But worship in spirit and in truth. Uh -huh. But the scripture said in Leviticus. I want to walk among you. Yeah. I want to be your guy. Yeah. So if he's going to walk among us, he's going to have to be in a body. Yeah. You should know that I'm in the midst of Israel. I'm the Lord, your guy, yeah. and none else. Yeah. What it says, read. Yeah. A tried stone. A precious cornerstone. A precious cornerstone. A sure foundation. A sure foundation. Sure. You ain't got to worry about this foundation. Yeah. It ain't no cracks in it. Yeah. It ain't uneven. Yeah. See, when, when you learn about being a builder, you got to plumb it. Yeah. You got to get your grade yeah. right. You just can't build on anything. Yeah. That ground has to be just right. Yeah. It can't be swamp. Right. If it is, you need to dig it out. Yeah. All the things that ain't good for it yeah. and fill it in with some good dirt yeah. or some clay. Yeah. And once you get it graded out, you shoot your grade. Yeah. You put a strain there uh -huh. so that you can have the right grade, that the building was set right, yeah. that the water won't flood it out. Yeah. Yeah. Wind just don't blow it out. Yeah. Yeah. Then when you get it out, you set your lines there. You square it off. Yeah. And I'm going to let you know, if you don't square it off, the higher you build it, the more crooked the building going to be. But don't, you don't want to be like the three little pigs. I blow blow yeah. until I blow it down. Right. One of them went out there and built his house out of straw. Right. But he didn't realize where he was at. In the area that the wind would blow it down. Yeah. It wasn't on the sure foundation. Yeah. Another one built his out of another thing. Yeah. But it didn't stand. Yeah. Yeah. But that little bitty pig uh -huh. that built his house on the sure foundation yeah. by the name of Israel. Yeah. And he said he huffed yeah. and he pluffed but he couldn't blow it down. Yeah. All you got to do is stand today, Israel. Stand today, Israel. And it will blow it. It's going to puff at you. Friends going to talk about you. They're going to try to blow your house down. But you stand, Israel. Stand. Stand. And see the salvation of God. What my next scripture said. Now this is the stone. But this is the stone. Which was set not of you buildings. What? Which has become the head of the corner. Uh -huh. That corner ought to be your life. Uh -huh. In you. Mm -hmm. It ought to be your head. Right. That you give all praises to. Yes. Yes. Neither is there salvation. What? In any other. What? For there is no other name. There is no other name. Under heaven. Under heaven. Given but, among men. Whereby you must But what saved. is the name? What is the name? Uh -oh. What is the name? Read the next one. Let's find out what the name is. There's a name. There's a name. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves. Is that Genesis 49, 24? 24. Then we go to two. Okay. But his abode and strength. Strong, y'all. His abode and strength. This guy that I'm talking about, yeah. this guy got the whole world yeah. in his hand. Yeah. All right. Got you and me yeah. in his hand. Yeah. What? And the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. But I'm talking about this guy, right? Yeah. right. He made one hand strong. Yeah. All right. My God, the chief cornerstone, yeah. made his arms strong. Yeah. What? I ain't talking about the back in the past. No. I'm talking about the one that he called. To sit on the throne of Israel. Yeah. It really said, I never failed thee a man to sit on the throne of Israel. What else it says? From this is the shepherd. For this is the shepherd. Yeah. Stone of Israel. That stone is. So what is the name? Israel. Uh -huh. 
What is the name, y'all? He said, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. There is no other name given him a man whereby you must be saved. But what was God's name? Second Chronicles. Let it be established. There's a name, y'all. Amen. A powerful name. A powerful name. name they wanted to cut off. If you ain't finally going to Psalm 7217. His name shall endure forever. His name shall endure as long as the sun. Well, what about the sun, y'all? See, there's, a, there's something about the sun. There's something about that sun. He says his name shall endure as long as the sun. But what do Jeremiah 31, 35 say? Then we're going to come back to that. Uh-huh. 31, 35. We're going to talk about this son. The Bible says his name should do as long as the son. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Which gives the son for, for light. It gives the son for light. By day. By day. Is it still doing that today, y'all? Yeah. Yeah. Is the son still being obedient? Yeah. All these hundreds and they say thousands of years. They're stunned, even though they just had an eclipse a couple of days, weeks ago. The sun's still in the moon doing it. What else it says? In the ordinance of the moon. In the ordinance of the moon. What about at night? When you go out there, you can look up there and see the stars in the moon. Sometimes it's a quarter moon. Sometimes it's a full moon, half a moon, or three quarter, but it's still the moon. Because God said it there. What? For a light by night, which divides the sea, which divided the sea, for the waves thereof. For the waves thereof. Lord, read. The Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts is His name. Is His name. If those ordinances. But listen. So we're gonna talk about that son. He said, if those ordinances depart before from before me. What do depart to me? Me to leave. Said the Lord. Stop refusing to do what God told him to do. But he said, if, if the ordinance depart from before he said, if. Right, right, right. See, man ain't got control of the sun and the moon. That's God's doing. If they depart from me, said the Lord, said the Lord, then the seed of Israel, then the seed of Israel, also shall cease from being a nation from before me forever. So long as that sun is there, the moon's still there. His name shall continue as long as the sun. I want to walk in him. I want to talk in him. I want you to be my God and I'll be your people. Can I get a witness in here today? Can I get a witness, y'all? Anybody know how good he is? Won't he do it? Won't he, won't he, won't he do it? Let's give God some praise. He's worthy, y'all. He's worthy. Yes. All we got to do is continue to bless and keep yes. the words yes. of a true and a living God. Yes. And follow the man that the God of Israel has left for us. Yes. 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 Praise yes. And you know, I hear people say something. Well, I, you know, I don't, it ain't about that. People love that man. Amen. Sometimes we just, in our own world. Amen. But then I don't believe it's one in the church if he asked them to do something. That they wouldn't do it. Right. So sometimes we just need to watch what we say. Because words are spirits and not life. We create things that may not be. He don't take your thoughts from you. But he's going to say, is he going to do what the God of his allowed? Tell him to do. And that don't mean I ain't following him. Because I got a thought. But an obedient person go father that him that has rule over them. Yeah, right. So we got to just step in line. Yeah. Embrace towards the future. All right. yeah. We can't look back no more. All right. What could have been, should have been, that's, that's over. We practice to a new height and a new level in the spirit of the church in this earth. Right. And we follow the greatest king. Yes. That he left for us. Yes. Yes. 
So this is what I'm just saying. After this assembly, you go back to your places with a new attitude, yes. a new thought, a new hunger, yes. a new thirst, yes. and work for the God of Israel. Amen. Tell somebody how good he is. Yes. This is how we build the churches. Yes. We told them that come and hear a man. Yes. And if you ain't that knowledgeable in the doctrine, just tell them come hear a man. Yes. I know a man. Yes. No, I only been in there a few days. I ain't got it all down, but I know somebody. Yes. I got a man. Yes. You come in here yes. that can heal the sick, yes. can raise your dead state of mind, can yes. give sight to the blind. I know a man yes. come who will tell you who you are. Yes. That you ain't look up in the sky no more. Right. That that same God that they lied about lives in you. Right. That same Jesus that lied to you yes. lives in you. Amen. So tell somebody about this. Your church. Amen. Don't be scared to talk yeah. about your church. Yeah. Right. Let them know. If you don't talk about it, and have enthusiasm about what you believe in, how you gonna convince me? Right, 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 right. right. No, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't going there. <laughs> but when they see that you shouting and jumping and like you do in church, when you're talking to them, they wanna be a part. I wanna come and see what's going on there. Don't always complain about what's going bad in your life. Tell them I might not have it today, but tomorrow, I'm looking for a better day. I might not be driving a Rolls Royce today, but I'm driving a car today. I might not be able to eat caviar and steaks every day, but I'm thinking for the green beans that I eat, and the pork and beans and the hot dog, I'm still eating. He still made it way. And if I keep on trusting him one day, I can eat the steaks. I can eat the caviar. Because he said he would give me the desire of my heart. He said, I will pull you out a blessing that you wouldn't have room enough to receive. That's the kind of guy we serve. Tell him that. Tell him that. That's the kind of guy we serve. Let's give him some praise, y'all. We thank you for the visitation of this Holy Spirit. And the Amen. manifestation Beautiful, that the king of Israel was here. Amen. He was all up in this place today. Yes. Yes. They might not saw his natural body on yes. Zoom today, but they saw his reputation yes. of what we teach. Yes. Yes. We teach that he can't be in every place. When I rise, you see the king. When you see the king, you right. see us. Yes. Yes. Today I can say we truly seen that today. Yes. Let's give the ministers another hand. We thank you for the ones that have come in from far and near so far. I see South Bend have come in. I've seen Atlanta in the house. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Sister Early. Yes. And all the ones from here, from Indianapolis. We have Deacon Derek, Reverend Derek from number one in, in Kentucky. Yes. South yes. Bend. Yes. And Deacon Juwan from number one. All right. We want to thank yes. him. And there's more here. They are working, doing things. But we're getting ready for an awesome assembly. Yes. And don't look back what should have been or what could have been right, in this right, assembly. Right. We're looking for higher heights. Yes, but we got to push on. Absolutely. For the ones that's not here, we, 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 we mourn them. But the church still has to go on. Yes, sir. And it's going to go on. Yes. So we can look in here to have a good assembly. This will be my first assembly as the overseer. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make some mistakes. It's charging to my heart. It's going to be all right. But you know what? I, I ain't looking to make too many of them because I had a good teacher. Bishop Harvey Beavers taught me well. He didn't leave me unprepared. So we're looking to have an awesome assembly. You talk to anybody, tell them to make way here. To Louisville, Kentucky. To the spiritual is a church in the sermon. We're looking to have a good time. Tell them the man of God will be here. What you say, D? The stone. The stone. He is the stone. 
At this time, we're going to ask everybody to say, I'm going to pray. This is last Sunday before the assembly. Then we're going to have our demonstrator. We'll take up a tithes and offering. And then we can go to work and get ready for the stone, the stone to be here. Just sing a verse of. Thanks. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King Wild Israel, being thankful for the saviors, Bishop Fields, Bishop Dixon, Tompkins, Haywood, Wiley, and sure enough, our Savior and Shepherd, the Stone, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis. Father, we come to you this evening. We thank you for what you have already done. But Lord God, we're not begging, but we want to just thank you for the things we know you're going to do tomorrow and the day after. Yes. Lord God, as your people prepare to come to Louisville, Kentucky, bless them and north them. Lead them here safely through the airways, the highways, the trainways, and the byways, and even their ways, Lord God of Israel. The ones that can't get here, Father, let them be able to enjoy this on Zoom. Amen. Holy Father, the ones that may not have a financial way, if you bless them, yeah. if it be your will, Father, yeah. And we know it's always your will for your people to come and praise you. Yeah. Lord God, visit the ones here in Louisville, Kentucky, to bless this temple. We thank you for the pastor and the members that has opened the doors that we may come here and give all praises to you. Amen. Lord God, let this be the most peaceful week yes. that we have ever witnessed in assembly. Yes. Let that not be bickered and arguing. But let it be joy-filled, talking about your goodness and your mercy, yes. your power, yes. your love, and your dedication for your people. Yes. Lord God, as the man of God prepare to get yes. here, leave him with him safely. Yes. Anoint him that he may give us a rhema word. Yes. Touch and bless his wife that stand by his side. Yes. Lead her and guide her that she may continue to stand by the man of God. Yes. Bless all the bishops and pastors that are coming him. Bless the members. Yes. Some of us don't have the money to come, but they sacrifice them to come, Father. Yes. Yes. You bless them and make a way for them when they yes. get back. Yes. Yes. Lord yes. God, I just want to thank you for my wife that stand by my yes. side. Yes. As we transition to this diff another appointment, Father, touch yes. and bless me yes. that I might be the man that the King of Israel is yes. calling for, yes. that I might be a help me yes. to him, Father, yes. that I might be able to be obedient yes. to the King of Israel. 
Lord gave us, bless my wife that she may stand by my side. That we may be able to help the king of Israel. Lord God of Israel, I just want to thank you for life today. I want to thank you for my mother and my father that brought us into the house of Israel. I want to thank you for my Aunt Jessalee Lee that's 95 years old. They had not been for her. We wouldn't have known about it. But we thank you that she brought the entire Carswell family in. And oh, Father, we're still here today. We're still here. And Lord God, we just want to say we thank you. That you didn't leave us comfortless. Jesus says, it's expedient that I go. Because if I don't go, the comforter would not come. Yeah. The comforter is here today. Yeah. In the name of Bishop yeah. Bobby yeah. Joe Davis, yeah. the comforter is here today. Yeah. And we thank you, Lord God of Israel. Amen. Father, we ask all these blessings yeah. in your name. Yeah. In the name of the most high God, the yeah. only God. Yeah. You said you're the first yeah. and you're last. And besides you, there is no God. Yeah. In the name of the great and mighty God of Israel. Yeah. And throughout the stone that you left us, yeah. the honorable yeah. Bishop Bobby Doe yeah. Davis, let us all agree and say amen. 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 And amen. amen. our demonstrator, Reverend Derek. Amen. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to be your demonstrator for today. Um, thank you for my teacher and instructor, Dr. William Carr. Thankful to be able to present my body a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to the God of Israel, which is just my reasonable service. Asking everyone to place your feet flat on the floor, palms and hands upward. The God of Israel gives me anything to give to his people. It is my duty and my honor to do so. If we could please sing a verse of the demonstration song. Israel, as I come into your vibration, I don't see any hurt, harm, or danger to befall anyone under the sound of my voice. The God of Israel has said he is pleased. For those that weren't here today, they may not know, but the spirit in this room was high today. Right. The spirit in this room is going to be the foundation for this assembly. Yeah. We're going to be rocking and rolling. Yes. Make sure you know that you took part in making this assembly a great one by your service here today. Thank you. Amen. All right, we want to thank our demonstrators for that wonderful hour. I'm just going to have a few things to say, and I want to say it because we're on Zoom. This facility that we're in is not ours. We're leasing this building, and I'm going to ask us to act accordingly in somebody else's house. Amen. It would not be any smoking allowed on this premise. No cigarette butts. And, and in the bathrooms, I asked the pastor to get some uh, baskets to put in the ladies' restroom. Do not flush those 
disposable things down the toilet because it'll stop it up. This, uh, we have been in here, but they rent us this room for the last couple of years. We do not want to be here this week, and then we leave, they got to move right. because we act unseemly. Let them know we are the spiritual Israel church in this army under the leadership of Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, and let's act accordingly and let them know that we thank them for allowing us to be here. And they didn't have to do it, but they helped us out and set their building down so that we may have service here. So we want to kid if you see a piece of paper on the floor, pick it up. Whatever you do, no arguing, no nothing, it's just show them. When you come in this building, those people don't know us, but they treat you with the most up love. Amen. They show you, they open the door for you. Let's show them that we can do the same thing. And we thank them for allowing us to be here this whole week, okay? Amen. We're going to have security outside. I don't want women going outside at night. We in Louisville, Kentucky. Amen. So we're going to have security posted. You, if you got to go to your car, the security will walk you there, okay? So we, we want to be on, we're going to be on point. But this is the Spirit's Church of Northern. Like I said, it's not our building. But we want to treat it better than it was our building. It's somebody else's. Okay, and when, while we at the hotels, if everybody on Zoom, listen at me. Act accordingly to. I don't want the king to have to get calls and saying that we're acting up or we can't come back to these hotels. Act like you, the Spirit's Church of Northern Church in this sermon. Because you know he preached hard to us. He trained us well. So if it's anything going on you can't have, I'm here. We are, all the other district bishops will be here, go to one of them. But if it's a problem, let's handle it, okay? All right. Now at this time, we're going to ask you to pay your tithes and your offerings. The assembly fees already been paid. If anybody in here is going to be working in the assembly, get with Mother Val while she's here to the other people get here, get your 625 paid. Okay? All right. Glad to see some more from Michigan come in. Mother Delita, all right. Glad to see y'all. South Bend, all right. We well, got in, in the house. We don't have. We don't have.
unto the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, as and everyone to stand as we conclude the services with our uh, closing. I love him, yes, I love him. God bless his holy name. He shed his own blood for me. Now it's well is my name. The repeat after me by saying now may the peace and the great and the love of the great God of Israel and the love of his son Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Ghost I'll be in and go with the soul from this meeting may the God of Israel keep love and floating over us and smite death threatening ways before us and grant to that we may so love him that we will love and cleave one to another and this we do know that if we will with all our hearts souls mind and strength love the O God of Israel we shall receive and possess the kingdom of David in this world and thou wast sent unto us all the kingdoms of God in heaven. And if we truly love thee, thou wilt bless us to be the true Israel of God. And then we shall enter into thy everlasting kingdom, which has no end. This and all other blessings that thou says we need, we ask in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Let us all sing together. Amen. Let us all shake hands and get acquainted.